This meeting is being recorded. So welcome to the 12 qualities of my promise to self. And I decided to put these as event hosting per month because of my own experience of journey of the 12 qualities and intentionally as it's not like linear, but sometimes I would jump which one pink me more. But I just using like 12 qualities, we're going to journey for monthly. So we set an intention to journey each quality. So see what's coming around us, coming around individual and collectively. Because when we set intention, that is the attention to the direction. So yeah, so we will talk about it. If that is talk about it, share about what's that really mean to you and you will reflect back what you have done and you wanted to bring forward what you want to manifest and also some action keys that you want to take away as well. Hopefully you will have some action. So who knows, see what's coming around. So this meeting intention is literally to set intention for the next month. So today is 28 on my side. So 27 on your side. <laughs> Carl, welcome. <laughs> So it's only you, year, no? So it's good. So it's going to be like intimate conversation, which is really nice. And uh, this space is sacred space. is not streaming straight to the um, to the sacred hub valley in the group, in the private group. There will be a replay. i just going to plug the replay from YouTube and that's it. Because sometimes I feel like we just need to close the communication line. So we just sit in the communal space so that we can drop into the heart and to really know ourselves, our journey. So that is the promise to self. So that is also why that I bring into this event because it's a devotional to yourself and also honor your journey. So the first quality for today is honor. <laughs> <laughs> so just tie it so beautifully. So this morning, I was sitting in my coffee shop when I drop off other two kids and I just starting to know, I just started to ask myself, why am I going to talk about As usual, I just don't, I mean, not that I don't prepare energetically when I set the, when I organize the event, the intention is already there. And to be able to, to, be able to so I'm not, so I'm not doing, Said that this is number that this is number two, this is number three, this is number three, because this is not an office. This is not an office. This is a open space. Open space. I can hear my echo. I can hear my echo. Oh, it's probably my favorite second. Okay. So this is an open space and internal what's flowing in, what's going out, what need to be communicated, what need to be shared is all up to individual of us. So that is why I create this um, space as not streaming. So yeah, it's just, let's say that it's a temple. I like to bring into the temple space because it's commune to yourself, which is really important, I think. So yeah, so obviously it's on the, Carl is on the year and I, so I'm going to bounce conversation here. <laughs> so, I, the first question that I wanted to ask you that when you come in into or maybe when you receive this invitation let's say I know that I have like the whole 12 conversation like 12 event already organized and when you know that I always I, I love these like the 12 holidays and we talk about that in the GOTC groups last year and you know that how magical always when we talk and we just flow and then the magic and then we create or co-create, right? So when you see this round, I actually make it happen as event, right? So what's your feeling about it? What's your receive? Of course, obviously when you wake up, right? You're like, oh my God, this is like, until next year. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Are you sure this is like November? I said, yes, it's November. You call it like November and then go to the like March. I said, oh my God, Lillian, this is like 2024. I said, yeah, I'll set an intention all the way over there. <laughs> so 
<laughs> yeah, there is a lot. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, but I could feel the progression and the shift through each, like, um, responding to the event and all of that. So it's like, yeah, it's cool. It's um, I could feel like that stepping up, like climbing, not climbing, but elevating to the next level, to the next level, to the next level, to the next level. So yeah, it's very beautiful. It's very beautiful. Um, and with the, the 12 qualities, um, it's nice to just focus on like that one word for the month, you know, like honor for like next month and going through each one. So it's, yeah, it's just a nice way to set the intention when beginning the day of honor. Mm. And it just like, just that word just like drops me, drops me right into my heart space. And it's that immediate connection to nature, like nature within and like nature all around and just everything that flows from that through like my creativity and my devotion, honoring all my creative, um, creative like masterpieces that I create. And yeah, it just, it's really anchoring and grounding and rooted. <sighs> yeah. So I want to bring into this, um, where do I got these, the uh, 12 qualities? So this is from the Guardians of the Code. My promise to myself, I wanted to read what's ordered here in the GOTC Code. And my promise to self is based on the GOTC, of course, and anchored each individual qualities in your code to activate for activations and also new transmission and that is like a new it can be a rebirth it can be something new and it can be something because we're talking about you know setting set yourself up for the next month so in the quality uh in the uh, guidance of the code he said that i promise to honor and respect the journey of everyone including myself no matter what the frequency is. I promise to honor and respect the journey of everyone, including myself, no matter what the frequency is. Just let that land. Yeah. No matter what the frequency is. So what I feel into here is whether your frequency is low, medium, or high, or the highest, we must know how to honor ourselves. That is what I receive from here. So what do you receive? Here? It's a perfect, well, perfect um, experience of what I've experienced today. So um, not allowing my light to be dimmed anymore. Um, yeah, it, um, yeah, I experienced uh, an experience today, and it was actually it was a beautiful new reference because you were in my mind um, of not to dim my light, not to dim my light, and it was like there was this moment where it was like where kind of like the old memory of like. how I used to process things came up to the, like, to face me. And then I looked at it face to face and I'm like, okay, 
then going to just shift it instantly. And I could feel it in my core. I could feel that little bit of like crunching. And I'm like, okay. So I just like breathe into my heart space, grounded, rooted. And then I just kept saying to myself, like, because I could feel all the frequencies around me. And I'm like, no, like, keep shining brighter and brighter and just lifting my energy even higher without any doubt or, or guilt, without any doubt or guilt. And that has been um, kind of like a hurdle for me when I was a teenager, um, especially in 19, it's like 19 is coming up again. Um, but it's good, it was like that doubt and guilt was kind of keeping me from shining my light because it was like that energy I didn't want to scare anyone or didn't want to trigger anyone so then I would just kind of be amongst like what was around me and I just kind of like melted into that instead of allowing my light to shine just over it and just to beam it all throughout so, ooh, I just got goosebumps. It's like in those moments, like being, like for me, like the sunshine. In that moment to kind of, when I shine my light bright, that it might trigger people a little bit, but they'll feel that radiating warmth and that love and knowing that they're safe and then things would just balance out so just having that reflection of like what happened today and everything just turned around. Who goosebumps. Yeah. It's like in the clear. It's like I needed that to happen today for me to feel fully experience it, to feel it of like what it feels like in that moment of just shining. Yeah. So proud. Yeah, so proud. Yeah. Mm. I, I hear you. You are talking about we need to feel to be able to shift. So this is very, it's also very huge for me as if you don't feel, we will not know. What does that feel like? Or what is that? really is but you just feel like reacting or you feel like angry or you feel something and then you just shift away and without acknowledging it or witness yourself literally it's a sort of awareness right so when we're aware that we have that feeling and we dropped and feel and we we could see literally like in like in a vision or feel of that feeling oh I know this feeling and then we bring back to that or we we actually bring back or we go there we literally go there this is like in a child now we're not a child anymore in the teenagers <laughs> or in our adult like younger adult like Right, like we yes, we heal that like, in a child, like let's say three years old until seven or maybe ten. But now it's just in that between of that, let's say 15 to 21. So we we need to heal that as well, because that is where we starting to grow up. Yeah. And I heard this a lot when. Well, when I say when I heard it a lot in, in the, at lunch at work, and I hear a lot of the, um, you know, male and female when they talk, right? Some of the, some, here's no judgment, but I could hear a lot of the people that actually have not moved from their mind or maturity from like uni age 
or like high school, middle high school, like the senior high school, right? Is that, yeah, what, 16, 17, 18 to 25. So that gap. So that they're already like 30 something and some of them 40 something years old. And they still go back to that uni time and they, they will still talk about it. And nothing wrong to talk about that, but they bring a lot of negative talk about it. And I hear them and I was listening, listening to them and I bring into mine as well. But my uni time have a lot of happiness. I have a lot of happiness in my uni time. And the only bad thing that I had is I had to, I did not sleep for three days just to do my exam. <laughs> so that was the only time that I was like, I was like, <laughs> so why am I taking this course? <laughs> so yeah, but that because of this course, I met a lot of good people that bring a lot of happiness to me. Like joy, studying in joy, enjoy my son and in my joy. So instead of, I think that it is, I, I, will re, I was reflecting on myself that instead of like having a negative thought, but my feeling of uni time is more joyful, but do not even carry that or attach to that bad feeling. I was like, oh, you're doing good, Lillian. <laughs> I was like, oh, I know how to do this already. I was like, impressive. I was looking, patting on my shoulder myself, impressive, good job. <laughs> so yeah, so that is again, to see in the different perspective. But again, what I wanted to talk about was, I see them, they were talking about how they're around them, their peer, the peers, what they do and all of that. And a lot of, a lot of them have not moved forward. So I was thinking about that on in the in in the journey back, which is the whole this week, in the train back. And whenever I sit in the train, right, Carl is just like I lift up. Although I'm listening to my music, right, but I lift up. I just look at people, and I could hear what they're thinking, and I could see what they're. I mean. Not that I could see, could hear, but you know what I mean, right? Like some of the noises, you can sense it. And, and I was like, I was like them before. I was one of the people in this carriage. So what make it different? That I am now observing people. I'm not part of them now. I'm not in that grid. I'm not in that grid anymore. But... I am in the same carriage with them, right? Like the train carriage, a lot of line, let's say net around it, but you're on the same grid with them, but you don't think like them anymore. You don't feel like them anymore because you literally have upgraded yourself because of the mind and also what your, your journey and your mind, your body, your spirit, and also that your voice. So this morning, I was in a coffee shop. I was looking at honor. That is the word that is really stand up for me because what is different for me in that carriage is I honor every part of me. And it doesn't mean that other people doesn't honor, I don't know. But the way that they talk, I hear them. The way that or they talk on the phone, the way that they're, they're just, the way they sit, their body language, right? They're tired. They're extremely tired, even though in the morning. So yeah. Like I've been there, not that I haven't, but that is why that we have, we feel that we, re, we know that feeling. So the word honored is really important because when we honored means that we feel, we drop in and we appreciate 
where we journey from before, like from now, future. Even though that we can drop back, just like you said, oh, I'm going back to the 19. Nothing wrong with that because something needs to be clear, right? But you do not go there and like bitch yourself up or punch yourself at all, right? Or boy, like really look down or speak yourself down. How many times like before we haven't really honored ourselves that deep? Like we will, we will have that. Like we self-talk, right? And you have another voice. It's like there's a the black one and the white one, the wing one and the black one. <laughs> They're on your shoulder, the talking. <laughs> right? You just can hear it. I'm like, you and then your mind is just entangled. <laughs> right? So when we honor ourselves, we know what we are doing. We're very clear because we can hear ourselves clearer than these two one are sitting on your shoulder. <laughs> so drop into sort of like, we know ourselves, honored ourselves like to go within and we can hear ourselves even louder. So when we hear ourselves louder and this becomes smaller and all drop together, bring it together. So mind and heart become coherency. I know I have been saying like really in a very fast way, <laughs> but I just wanted to paint that picture first. That is how I journey myself. Of course, we can go, we're going to go into individual, but I guess that that is how the journey of, you know, from in the grid and out of the grid. And whether you want to participate or you become an observer. So, yeah. Thank you, Nakayo. <laughs> Beautiful. Yeah, <clears throat> I was reflecting a lot when you were talking while I was getting images like a movie. Mm. And yeah, it's, I think, yeah, being an observer a lot. Yeah, I observe a lot. I've always had, I've always have been an observer. Maybe when I was little, I would just be quiet and just look. It was always like feeling too. I would kind of like feel it all. And yeah, now it's like, Yeah, when people need support, it's like being like in the heart space. Like, it's like your heart is always like turned on to like be a service. And it's like you trust in like the consciousness of your heart to just bring to the to that like present moment to like the individual of like what they need. It's um, it's very humbling, like leading with the heart, guiding with the heart, just being in that, that heart center. Like I, every morning when I wake up in the morning, like I clear and then um, just reconnecting to the heart and like grounding. And then I just allow it to just flow through like my whole day of like, okay, what song am I gonna listen to while I'm getting ready for work? Or like, what am I gonna create? Like, what um, what am I gonna see in nature? What am I, what am I gonna connect with in nature? Like what's gonna connect back to me from nature and like have this conversation and this whole experience with? So like I was very like grateful today. I'm like, I'm gonna do something different. And I when I'm working, I usually just kind of hang around home until I have to go to work. But I mean, like you literally inspired me 
today of like to get outside. So I'm like, okay, I'm gonna like, I woke up an hour early, then my alarm. And then, and then I'm like, okay, I'm, I have like two hour window and I'm like, okay, I can do this. And it was a beautiful day and I just went on a walk and it felt so freeing to get out of my um, routine. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, this is good, this is good. I could just feel like more expansiveness the more I kept walking. And yeah, it was just like taking it all in, like no matter how like kind of like a time frame, but like letting it flow through like that two hour window. It was so beautiful. Like, cause I knew exactly where I was gonna go. And I'm like, okay, I had that in my mind, in my vision. And I could feel it in my heart. And I'm like, hey, it feels good. So when I arrived there, it was just like, oh, so freeing and liberating. And I was like, I could feel the clarity within. I could feel the safety around me. And like my voice changed. I felt like so inspired all throughout. And then when I experienced that experience, um, how I was kind of like triggered, I was like, okay, hey, no, I'm like, not, nothing's going to change like the happy mood that I'm in. I might look that I'm like serious on the outside, but I'm like so joyful on the inside. It's like my poker face. It's like, um, so it's like, no, like I, I, and then it was like that moment where I was like, no, I'm going to just shine my light and like, just not let my light dim. And it took me a little bit, but I just kept stuck with it. And I'm like, and then it was like that break, that sweet spot where I was just like, ah, oh, this feels so good. And then I could feel the tension from others. And I'm like, okay. And then it was like really intense. And I'm like, okay, no, I'm like, I gotta like, I gotta just like, just shine through this. And then it was like in that, like, it's basically kind of like the analogy of a mountain. So it's like when there's that mountain and then you have the clouds that are like at, at like the midpoint or like the top of the mountain. That's where I was like kind of breaking through like the sound barrier of like, getting to like um, like the top of the mountain, but then like overseeing everything with like that sunshine energy and that love. Um, so yeah, I was just, I was so proud of myself that I did it. And that, like when there's energy that's like really intense for me or like really strong, it's like for me to be even stronger to like meet that energy and then and then to like create that like frequency shift with the whole situation because I because I'm a feeler and I could feel it within me and I was just getting like frustrated and I'm like okay just relax you know just like calling on my dragons and my guides and all of that I'm like I can do this I can do this and I just kept breathing through it and then I'm like Okay. And then everything just kind of worked out better than what I expected. And I knew exactly what to do, where I needed to go, what I needed to do, like my tools. It was like my, that my toolbox. So it was inspiring. Um, so it's good. I just remained with that awareness. I just remained that like level headedness and, um, yeah, just like so many profound shifts, um, today. Yeah. It's beautiful. <laughs> I want to ask you a question. Yeah. <laughs> Why do you want to put on poker face? Pardon? Oh, poker face? <laughs> um, well, <laughs> um, because I think the poker face is kind of like it's kind of like a coping mechanism in my past of, yeah, when like people weren't happy or smiley, it was like kind of like that thought I would have to myself. It's like, why am I gonna smile when like the world's not smiling back? You know, 
Like I had that brief moment today and I'm like, but it was, that's part of the empath of me of like feeling, feeling the energy of others. Um, so I know what to like shift or like to transform. So it was like, I was like, my face was taking on the expression of others. But then it's like, yeah, it's like, okay, so it's like getting into like so much depth here. So um, from like when I was a teenager, actually it's bringing me right back to when this, this very potent time when I, how old was I then? 19. I think in my 20s. Yeah, when I went to Walt Disney World for the second time. And yeah, I'm just feeling this energy and like so prominent right now. Um, so when we went to Walt Disney, we met a couple from Canada. And they took us around and I was like very joyful, like just like so inspired and like, I just was like seeing everything. I'm like, oh, I just, it was a lot to take in. And like, when I get really excited, it's like, it takes me a bit to kind of digest it all. Cause it's just like receiving from all directions, right? When I'm like really joy filled and happy and inspired and just in my element. So yeah, I was just beaming. And then all of a sudden, like someone said a comment of like, you're way too happy. And then I, then I looked, I liked the person and then I'm like, and then it was like this shrinking feeling. Cause I was like beaming like ear to ear. And it's like, tr it triggered me because it was through this person, it connected me to my father, like my second father. So it was like that immediate reaction of like, being solemn like that poker face so that no one can kind of attack you or kind of like pick you apart because you're so happy and it's like with the happiness it's like those judgments and those projections right and then like when people are happy themselves and see someone who's happy it's like okay I'm going to try to bring this person back or get to this person at my level like at their level so that they feel comfortable through the whole progression my whole life of me like dimming my light that I just when I didn't allow myself to shine my light it was like feeling of safety because they couldn't see like the happiness that was within so I was like conserving it like um, for myself. So then and that's when it began of like stuffing everything down. That's like when it all began of like suppressing. Yeah, that's where it all began. And just caught deeper and deeper and deeper. And then everything just kind of, it was like that magnet of suppression. So honestly, it's like coming full circle back to Sacred Heart Valley last year of uh, knowing that I was reflecting about that today because I had like memories pop up and like on my posts and stuff. And so I was like, okay, like it was almost like with Sacred Heart Valley helped me to feel safe, to be happy, to like be seen, felt, expressed, heard witnessed to know that it's like safe to be you and creative and in the big thing is the heart and like the heart consciousness so that was like the key for me was the heart that's like the, it was the main focus of like okay someone who understands the heart like the energy of the heart getting goosebumps of like what I was feeling deep in my heart I didn't know how to express it 
I didn't know how to like talk about it, but I could feel the shift and I could feel the resonance with you and like with your posts and everything that I just knew that like you got it. So I knew I just had to stick with it. Um, Cause I've like experienced like the melting of the heart prior to Sacred Heart Valley, which I needed to, to feel it, to know what it felt like so that I would receive the Sacred Heart Valley, like that gateway, that opening, um, that portal. And then just being like within the container and joining the connects, it felt like home. I felt more of myself, like I felt that everything was gonna be okay, that I just had to stick with it. Cause I was going through a lot of stuff prior to Sacred Heart Valley and was doing a lot on my own to like clear and and to remain at like the highest frequency that I was at in that moment up until like Sacred Heart Valley. Um, so it was like that, that gateway that just kind of took me to that next level to just kind of let everything go that no longer served my purpose and body and um, my happy and best self. Like it just, it kept me on that forward momentum, which is what I needed to not spiral back. Um, so yeah, it's so beautiful. <sighs> Thank you. I wanted to recap what you say. Okay, I'm gonna shift permanently. Poker face because you told me about I'm poker face too. <laughs> Thinking of that, so I'm just gonna recap what you said and what I hear. Okay, is someone asking you way too happy, and you're like zip everything zip. <laughs> right and then you're like okay I cannot be too happy because that triggered me and then you reflect to another memory but I don't want to go that memory I want you to come to this memory that that person point to you or talk to you and then you become as you realize where the surprise come from is people actually when someone say that you're way too happy because they do not know what is actually happy in them. Because they don't receive what is, they look at you, they're like, what the hell are you so happy about? Because they are sad. They cannot receive what you receive. They wanted their envy, their jealousy probably too. And then what do they do? They open their mouth, they attack you. Why are you happy with that? Why are you so happy? You got it? And then you're like, oh, why am I? And then you started to bring that energy to yourself. It's like, oh, is it me too happy? Oh, I do something wrong. I can't be too happy. Poker face. Not down, it's up. You lift your poker face up. It's not coming down. Coming down means gone. You'll lift it up and you face. So that, literally the whole journey of yours prior to that. So you, as you mentioned it, dimming your light, put yourself in their box, put yourself in their shoes and journey with them. You separate yourself, literally. So I know that you can shift that and you just said that you just full circle, right? If another person come in, why, why are you so happy? What are you happy about? Why are you going to respond this time? Are you going to zip it up your face again? Now it's for you to honor your voice, not to attack them back and not to project them back. What are you going to say to them? 
so that you honor your happiness. It's true. I am so happy I drop into my heart. So yeah, because people cannot see, it doesn't mean that you have to shut your heart, shut everything of yours. So what are you going to do? This is the practice. Next step. So yeah, because so from here, we can shift out of the box of what previously in a permanent way. Because we are training ourselves so that we can advise that person or we can share our heart with that person. I am so happy because everything. Share with them why you're happy. Don't shut up. Yeah. Yeah. I know that people would think that, oh, because I see this, is. can you see this? Like, you know, sometimes when you get so happy, people just look at you when, when you share. After you share, they were like, <laughs> that will go away. It's okay. Because that happened to me before. As when I, I share with my family of what I've seen in a scene, like more to the spiritual world, because I'm so happy of whatever I see. This is the, in the beginning. I'll share my journey as well. But when they receive, they can't receive. They will think that Lillian's crazy, crazy, and I can't say lead. And then they will not project you. They will go away. But that conversation stuck in their mind. They remember. Because they will come back to you. I saw that beautiful Kuan Yin on the weekend with me and my family. I'm thinking of you. The conversation that we had, I, I know that you're very connected. Who knows? That person took a photo and sent it to you. Look at that. Create the shift. Not only in yourself, you create the shift for that person. Because that person will remember, oh, this is what Carl is. I see the third, oh, this is Carl. So yeah, so it's, it, you just change the reference. So yeah. I remember that when I first met you, I didn't believe about fairies. <laughs> and then it just feel into, you know, open sacred heart valley on different, different, you know, different community. And when I draw, when I receive the information, I was like, Ish. I was like, like oh, I feel like, like very <laughs> right. Like, so did you like kind of? Oh, okay, I got it now. Alrighty. And then who knows you're coming in? So this is like, I don't need to find. I already receive, I already know. So yeah, when you reached out to me, I was like, this is like very energy. I never encounter any fairies because I don't, I didn't believe them. I'm more factual people. I didn't believe them because I don't see them. I don't know how they feel like. Nobody talked to me about it. So yeah, keep talking, keep sharing, share happiness. People ask why you respond because. Yeah. Yeah. When you say because, your sentences will, will continue. Don't ask yourself, why am I happy? Because you are doubting yourself that you're happy. Why are you happy? So no doubting. Yeah, when you feel happy, you're literally happy. You just be. So this is what I hear. <laughs> so yeah, is that resonate? Yes. Yeah. Today I was like, yeah, I was actually, I literally asked myself that question um, throughout the day. And I'm like, I just feel like, yeah, there's like, I feel like, oh, how do I describe this? It's like that more of the fearless energy that I'm feeling. So you're like, there's like, e 
there's just like this deep feeling inside that just knowing that everything's going to be okay. Whereas this whole week has been huge work on myself, shifting, drawing codes, and like really looking at like the triggers and like moving through it in the most beautiful way. And I feel like I don't get that crunching anymore in my stomach when I like when that fear energy comes in, which is just false evidence appearing real. So I feel like I um, diffuse that like energetic charge that like fear had on me, which is good. So it's just this. It's like this feeling of euphoria and bliss within my heart and my being, but it's like as one with nature, but like everything that I love, it's like this deep feeling of when I was like manifesting in the past or just would be in my inspiration world. And then something would like happen or trigger me to kind of like, snap me out of it but it's like now I'm at this moment this peak moment where nothing's snapping me out of it it's like continuing that flow knowing that I'm safe and just trusting and just knowing that it all will be okay but it's like this it keeps building the energy the energy keeps building in the most beautiful way and it's just like in that moment in those moments it's like all these beautiful memories come up or inspirations or things to create and everything just like flows like more easily. It's like the veil is lifted like from my eyes and from my whole being. Um, yeah, I feel like today was like the day that like changed everything. Like I can really feel it. Um, and just keeping in that joy. And like when I was like walking, like people were like talking to me and smiling and it was just such a beautiful feeling. It's like when I'm in my happy, joyful self, people are feeling that and it's like reflected back to me. And even with the situation today when there wasn't happy individual, happy individuals, but it was like that moment of like constricting, constricting energy, but then to like feel it process it and then like transform with it to then kind of anchor in that new reference is such a beautiful way to experience today like so proud like patting myself on the shoulder like this is like this is how you do it yeah <sighs> Oh, I need to go to your phone. I just sent mm -hmm. you a picture of your in your Instagram. I just wanted you to see okay. what you see. Okay. <laughs> I want you to focus here. Your forehead. There's like white light, like it literally looks like um, like two petals and a flower, like and a stem at the center of my forehead. Oh my goodness, literally a code that I drew earlier. Maybe this one is probably better. Yeah, is it better? <laughs> it's like a light portal. Mm. I'm seeing 
like a triangle and then an arc it's like making my heart flutter wow i just had um a remembrance of when i created that mural in calgary with the door opening and there's nature and the lion and the flowers and the lotus and that that it's like this was exactly the time that I created that that it's like receiving my like creative gifts back and everything is returning to me from those moments when I feel like every it's like a whole retrieval of um reclaiming for myself like from all those times that I like did my light it's all returning back to me now with shining just I'm just sending that like sunshine energy and love light and to all those moments throughout my life where I did my light and just infusing all those ages with so much like love and like purity energy of like me now <laughs> it's like seeing myself as this white pillar but like strong foundation proud It's like all the parts of me are like magnetizing back to me. It's that like white pillar of light. It's like I can see these golden, like these golden uh, energy, um, like cells, like traveling towards like the white pillar of me. I'm just feeling into the energy of my forehead. I'm hearing so clearly, like this is all that you are, like that extension of purity of the heart of light and shining this throughout every area of my life and all that I do and sharing it with nature and others but it's receiving from nature and nature within as one. And then bringing that, that healing, that joy to others and just replenishing with nature. It was like that sweet, those sweet spots today where everything just became so clear. Like I'm still feeling into the peace from today and like the deep peace and inspiration, but it's very grounded peace it's not like it's within it's not like above me like how I used to like leave my body and float and journey it's not it's like this inward journey now it's like an extension of the experience within it was like Gaia's coat as you mentioned yesterday and I was just fully feeling into it today. Yeah, it's so beautiful. And as I wanted to bring it Thank to you. the third eye is connected to the pineal gland. Mm. Pineal gland is connected to the heart. Because the heart opened, this this open. A lot of people wanted to get the third eye opened. If the heart's not open, this one is not open. So yeah.
so I'll connect to our home. Yeah. Because when how do we bend, everything open itself. We don't need to force ourselves to open. We can force ourselves to open all the chakras if we want to, but it's just not sustainable. But we just, when our heart opened, everything opened itself because this communication line, it just connect. It's just, hello, I know you. <laughs> you wake up now. <laughs> and then they become friends. And then they want happy. Yeah, I want to become happy too. So they're holding hands together. They're holding hands together. And then they just become friends. That's how I see it. So yeah. Mm. I remember there's a, a post on social media, the heart. Give flowers to the brain. You can rest now to the brain. The brain, like the cartoon of the brain just is like dead tired because it's eating a lot. Mm -hmm. And the heart just give the flowers to the brain. So you can rest now. So yeah, so I was like, why some mixed pictures of the cartoon? It's just like, oh, it's just like, oh. So I can actually rest. I can hold, I can receive the flowers and smell. Oh, I can rest now. The brain can rest now. Let the heart do the, do the work. But whether the brain allowed or not, receive the flower and smell the flower. And when you smell the flowers, you will be like, oh, right? All the people will do that. So yeah, you'll relax. Your mind relax, body relax. So I just, at that image is like with me all the time. When my mind is on the loop, you know, when you go to work and so many things to do, your mind will have that loop, right? And then when you sit down, when you have that mind, like always at the clouds here on top of your mind, I will always bring the image to me. Like my heart, give me the flowers. Smell the flower and receive or receive and smell. So yeah. And the mind, of course, okay, I receive, I smell. So yeah. It just energ energetically, we will relax but we receive something flowers so that is how i it's just it's so quickly to get yourself relaxed like the nervous system right if you're not feeling safe as well like just imagine that the, <clears throat> the heart give you blanket to the brain or to your body right or nervous system and just say you are safe you are right so yeah and the heart do all the work, but we have to feel into that first. So we don't, if we don't feel into our heart, we may not do the work because it will be like opposite direction. <laughs> if the heart give you the flowers, that no, I hate flowers, <laughs> right? That is a different way. But just encourage yourself to receive and then smell. That's all. That's all you need. So we talk about a lot like you know we honor like um, I, I did talk about the mind right so we honor our mind just to relax we honor our body to go to the nature and then we honor our voice to be able to express when people ask you like we said that right and then we honored the spirit so now we wanted to talk about honor the spirit So how do we, like, when I said spirit, I was thinking about how do I really honor spirit? I was like, well, I trust, have faith, and leave. And I was like, oh, spirit is also including the multidimensional self too, right? Like we carry out the mission. We carry out what shows us, what shows us in ancestral or like patterns or traumas and all of that. That is spiritual, spirit, and also multidimensional, past, present, future. 
So I put it like, you know, obviously I don't really want to say category, but you know what I mean. That is the spirit pillars, let's say pillars. So yeah. Mm. So I have to say that I devoted my entire life journey for the last three years to spirit, spirit pillars. It's sort of like built up, like from literally groundwork to build up so that I journey together with my life. Like I can see like, you know, like in the front of you, you have pillars, right? And then the pillars, the spirit is truly so ground. So, and then so that I feel the water up. <laughs> the water. <laughs> and then the same, and then you journey together. So when, this is for me, is spiritual wellness. For me, it's like wellness in the spiritual pillars because that is your soul. That's my soul in that pillars. So I, if my soul is not full, I walk in zombie. <laughs> it's the shell of the body. So it means for me, it's just like soul is everything. So yeah, I listen to my soul then compared to my human self. So yeah. And a lot of times that we were so high in the different realm and then we have to come back to the earth to still continue to do human work. And we need to balance, harmonize the energies and recalibrate as well of whatever you go, you come from or you go, you come from, you go to because if we don't balance that energy or recalibrate, it is a lot of things that we, we get like ourselves that pain, you know, and all of that, that. But we have to look at ourselves. Where is that coming from? If you feel low energy, we have to come. I mean, I contemplate whether that's my lower self or that is something that I need to work with and bring into all the factor together and really stick with that. And, you know, that always will show me. When you walk nature, it always will show me what I need to work next. So that is the spiritual pillars or spirit pillars. The spirit always guide, the soul always guide to the next step. They will not slow you down. They will, they will fast track you, but they will look up, they always look after you. Like they look after me. I believe that all soul level they will look after individuals. So yeah, whatever you are now, you are at the right time, at the right place. So yeah. Mm -hmm. So we touched a lot today. Like, you know, we'll talk about honored spirit, honor our body, honor our voice and the mind. Is there anything else you wanted to share, Kyle? I know there's more, I'm, I'm sure. <laughs> there's always more, but no, I feel complete. That was very inspiring. Mm -hmm. <sighs> but now we are setting yeah. the intention for next month. So just one thing, if you wanted to say anything, what you wanted to do for next month for doing this as honored. So, yeah. Mm. Because we unpack, like we unpack what is really honor means and what is really honor mean to all of us. And also that what part that, you know, we bring into the parts like mind, body, spirit, and voice, right? So now we're going forward like next month, which you next week. What can you do to promise yourself to honor the path of yours for every, whatever that frequency is? So, so that is what is there mm. for you. What yeah. you are going to set an intention for next month for using this quality. I will share mine as well. Mine would be to keep the happiness within on my smile. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no poker face. 
even when those around me are serious, it's to just smile. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely what I'm gonna, yeah, that's definitely for me to work on, especially at work, because I'm like, I, I'm like the guardian at work, like overseer of the crystals. And I think for me, because I have to keep mine a lot, so I tend to be serious, but I don't want to be like crazy. I mean, like crazy nice, cancel, clear, delete, but like, like this all the time, like Inspector Gadget, but it's just like a nice smile. Yeah. That was awesome. Like, something wrong with you? <laughs> Is it? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's like more of like um, mm. like that. Yeah, not like, which I have been, but it's okay. Um, oh, yeah, cool. that's definitely for me to work on. Definitely, 100%. Mm. I could definitely improve on that. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, because that is breaking the pattern. <laughs> <laughs> you can you create your own breakthrough. Mm -hmm. uh, so yeah, <laughs> breaking the pattern. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, know what I know what I think that just landed for me. So yeah, mm, yes, this is it. So for me, it's like being strong. For me, this belief was like being serious. Like you can even see, watch, like. It's like when people, so it's like when people see you smile, it's like, well, my story of it was like not seeing strength. It's like seeing like kind of like the airy fairy, even though like fairies aren't like airy fairy. Like, I mean, it's a projection that somebody has put on which is what kind of withheld in me connecting with the fairies, to be honest with you. Not until I received the fairy temple oracle and was seeing all that. I honestly didn't really connect with the fairies at all because it was this whole perception of, of like they're bad and all this stuff clearly of like society and all of that and whatever. So I just didn't connect with them at all. So then once I received the fairy oracle and took the course with Susie, it was a whole new shift in perspective. And that was a year before meeting you. Um, so it was like for me to be tapping into the inner strength, to that strength, it was like this whole journey of like when I was journeying with the animals and that, it was like trying to show people like, and to take me more seriously of, like, having that serious face, like, right? So then people could feel that shift because they're like, oh, yeah, like, Kyle's very not, but I'm like, no, like, that's, like, not even, like, the whole truth, right? Like, it was more of, like, for me to uncover and discover for myself, like, during with the multidimensional styles, but then now coming to the, the um, so shifting from like fairy to that perception and projection into like more elemental grounded state. So it's like Kyle from like, as in like flying around or floating as like the, the perception of fairy was like that energy of like being grounded and rooted, which is like kind of symbolic, right? Of like what I was feeling. And now it's like more elemental. So of the earth, of nature with mother earth, mother nature, mother Gaia. So I can fully see that progression now. It's just landed for me right now. Um, so yeah, so then that's why I was like, I didn't want to be happy and like smile all the time because it's like, even like people at work, it's like airy fairy, like that energy, right? So it was like trying to be in that more of that masculine energy and trying to show people that, that like the groundedness of me and which what took like a year 
but it's like finally getting there. But being so grounded that I'm able to be in that heart space and now weaving into more of the elemental self as like a part of me, as like Kyle, like anchored here on earth with like my journey and the plants and the flowers and the trees and the elements and all of that. So it's just, I, that's my whole key now is trying to shift that perspective with society of like respecting nature more respecting like the elements and the elemental bringing that whole shift in perspective of like a whole new way of like seeing like fairies and like, elementals but all as one like, like they're all powerful all as one like this whole it's like a whole family community which is like extensions and expressions of us within the Sacred Heart Valley as we are like these grounded, like sentient beings who like are very powerful and like, yeah, very rooted in their core, their being, their heart. So it's, yeah, this whole shift that's going on within me, but to bring that to society I that's a huge thing that just landed for me right now as the elementals and the fairies want that shift to happen to occur as well on the earth because it's like their voices need to be heard and they need to be respected and with mother earth mother nature mother Gaia as well so we're just going through this whole transition yeah Whew. Ah, yeah. Mm, beautiful. And I think that all we see that through like my creations, like, my artwork has changed. There's even stuff that I haven't even shared yet. Um, because it's like that little bit of fear. But it's like knowing that it's part of this new wave, the new new way to honor nature and the earth and yeah yeah i just it just message for me to just start diving back in that yeah creating more of my artwork yeah yeah <sighs> Yeah. It's funny because I have this card on my altar. This has been on my altar, the creation card from Susie's Fairy Temple Oracle. Mm -hmm. So it's like it's like, yeah, she's very um strong, empowered, um, connected to nature and the earth. It's like the real deal, like sh the real work. Um, very like empowered through the heart. Um, passion, focus. There's also that like independence, but like community as one. It's like, the elementals, like the fairies, are like codependent. They're they can be that sovereignty, but knowing that like everyone plays a part, like has a part in like the tapestry of life, like it all weaves and interconnects. But it's like for me, I had to learn like this last year of like independence of like what it felt like in my body it's like not doing everything alone but it's like feeling safe within within the heart within the being but trusting in nature to like take care of me as well and me taking care of nature as like we're one so it's like when i can take care of myself 
in the best way that I know how, and there's always improvement. But it's as if nature reflects that in how nature is taking care of itself as well. Um, I feel like because the last week and a half, the weather has shifted here and there was kind of like a pause within like the growth of nature. And there's like that sacred pause within me. So it's like with the joy of me today, the sun was shining, like everything was coming back to life and I was coming back to life. And it's even like with the, the buds on the trees, it's like they're right there, like ready to open. And I'm like, I'm ready to like open even more, like just flourishing with all my heart, like not um, hiding anymore behind like my vessel, like allowing the heart to like take center fold and to just keep shining and shining that light as one, just like all throughout, just radiating through the heart and all throughout. So yeah, it's just beautiful <laughs> reflections today. So thank you. <laughs> so beautiful. So we have set an intention. So we're going to bring into, well, what is my intention? So my intention bringing forward for next month is more, I'm just looking at my list. <laughs> There's no list, but it's just something that I scribble mm -hmm. that I take note this morning. That um is more... Well, I can't see, I can't say more. I'm gonna be balanced up every balance out. Balance out everything. In turn of the, the mind, the heart, the body, the voice and the spirit together. I bring all together with me. The journey. And it's not only the soul, but that I'm bringing everything with me to be able to express in different way from all kind of frequency. Mm. So yeah, so that is my intention for next month, which is for next week, for now. <laughs> for now. So yeah, <clears throat> so when we say it, which is already starting, the feel already opened up for us. So yeah, so. I think that we wanted to bring into closure of this, the first quality as honored and one of the first of the 12, promise to self. And of course we can up update ourselves on the post. You can share in Sacred Heart Valleys or your communities, Gaia Temple, we're always cross-sharing. And also that, if you inspired anything like art, singing, dancing, anything, always tie back to the word that you use if that is something that you focus on, like on it, anything. So yeah, because it's for you to come back and come back, come back home, come back to your heart, come back to that word. So yeah. Mm -hmm. So that is from me. So thank you all. So again, and I said that this is the first quality. We're going to do a journey. The second quality need to similar. Like I set up in a way that sort of like next week is a new month. So we set an intention for that. <clears throat> and also in the community gathering as well is also the last day of the month. Like let's say that I think the today's 20. I think the community is about the last day of the, this month. So for us to reflect by what we have said intention, even though just only one or two days, things have already shifted. So bring into that to the community gathering to share as well, because that is the layer and layer of it. And because the audience will be different. And you, first of all, because you'll shift from there. And that's how, that's how we do it. 
the more we share, the more we express. And our soul will open the door for us a lot more as well because it's the expressions of frequency. So yeah, the universe will hear you, will send you too. That's how I perceive mine. So the past 12 months, I don't really journey like one, two, three, four, five. But I select what's pink to me. I do normally I do two qualities. And I find that it's always when you set an intention, you forget about it in a way that not that forget about it. It's not like you set, you know it's there, and then you release that. And I said that because you feel into now we feel we talk, we share, we feel into what we wanted and we create and then we release that to the universe because we do not want it to you know attach on that i want to do this because of that it's sort of like you're conditioning your own intention so when we say intention it's the focus that you are uh, journey as the incorporate in your life so when we actually something that we have done we always, when we on reflection, you come back to that honor, you come back once in your heart at that moment. And how do you tie the knot together? And then you will see there's a lot of expansion from there. So I feel so much expansion of myself after I reflect the whole 12 qualities in a day. I mean, short hours. I didn't even know that I, I mean, obviously in, if you really think about it, yes, like intention, oh, I already thought, but I wasn't really thinking about it. It just landed. I was like, oh my God, I actually have done all of that, both of them. And I reflect back, oh, this is what is that journey. Oh, this is what is, oh, this is what happened. What did I do to recollect myself back? And then how can I bring that lesson or that gift bring forward? What did I do with that gift? Did, that, did I serve? Did I, you know, expand myself or deeper training or deeper research? That is all expansion, like branching out, just like the trees. Oh, now I'm seeing cherry blossom. <laughs> right? So when you have that cherry blossom up, just like in Japan, right? Now it's a, it's, a, it's a cherry blossom. So that is where your ideas come out and all of that. So when they're coming down, you know, the wind go, you know, the flowers is always come down. It doesn't have to be autumn. So that is where the spread, spread of the petal. Yeah. And the release that fragrant and the colors that you see, right? Even though you're on social media, you see that too. You don't have to go to Japan. So you receive that. <laughs> So that's energetically you receive as well. See how powerful is that? So yeah. So that is how I wanted to um, share all my experience of that. But I'll encourage those people who do the replay as well. When just trust in a way. I know that the way that I describe is very like nothing to grasp, nothing to step one, step two, step three. But just allow that magic, allow that magic to come to you. And the surprise, right? Surprise, the magic. But if you know what is coming along, isn't that this? Not fun. <laughs> Not that much fun. So yeah. So just bring into fun and joy into your life as well. Every single day, every single month. Nature always got plenty of magic, plenty, plentiful. So what is your frequency is, what you receive, all of that. So yeah. So now we're going to bring sacred space to close and to really honor Mother Gaia and nature because the time is coming, is next wheel is turning. Mm. For the next three, four months, you're going to deeply commune with 
the mud nature and the plant that is also to myself. And that is also honor to my own body because my body is Gaia. <laughs> so how do we honor the way? You can, you know, physically, you know, plant the flowers and all of that. And just remember that your, your being, when you look after yourself, you look after Mother Nature. Because each of the portal in within the body is the portal is the gateway. So yeah. Mm. Let's feel into that yourself. That will be the next conversation. Mm. Mm. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Carl, for today for presence and to be present. Present and to be present with me and with your heart. Honor you. <laughs> Thank you, Lenny. Thank you. Thank you for all that you continue to do. And for you to bring your heart to everything that you do. Yeah, so beautiful. Thank you for always bringing us back home, too. All right, I see you when I see you. <laughs> Next yeah. one.